Uh, we're using man coverage, uh, too high, and um, saw number two go do an out route. I was outside leverage already though. Once he saw, I was at, had my leverage. He um, tried to go back inside. Quarterback threw it and just jumped it. Yeah, it's a blessing, man, to be able to go out four and get some guys. So yeah, definitely, definitely, um, feeling feeling great about that. In the middle there, Charlie. David, can you just describe the emotion of winning this game today? Oh, it's. I mean. <laughs> Hard to really put into words how much it means to, to this group. Um, you know, we talk about it, you know, 365 days a year and talked about it since I've been here. Coach Harbaugh started that, Coach Morris kept it going, and this game means everything to us. And, you know, things haven't gone exactly where we wanted them to, no doubt, uh, over the course of the year. But, man, just so proud of this group. You know, O line, Kalel, his defense, Makari, man, they really stepped up and played an incredible football game. And, and uh, man, just, you know, don't enough words to describe how proud I am of all of them. With the win, you go not just from the seven and five and six and six, but seven and five and you beat Ohio State. Do you think this changes your perception of the season significantly? Yeah, I mean, you know, our goals every year is to, you know, you know, beat our rivals, beat Michigan State and beat Ohio State. And, you know, we accomplished that goal. Um, so that's really important to us. And um, you know, get to come in here and, and get a win in this sort of environment. Uh, against a good football team was was uh, man, it was a great feeling. Front right here, Dennis. Could both you guys describe <clears throat> just what happened in the melee afterwards? I mean, I had a youth coach tell me once whenever there was a fight on the field, just walk the other way. So uh, did that against Michigan State when they started getting chippy, and and looks like you know Ohio did the same thing. And so I, I didn't see any of it. The game, mean a lot. <clears throat> the game mean a lot to both teams. So emotions high after the game. No, so that's really what it is. They came running over, hard thing players came running over after you guys or somebody tried to plant the flag, I think. Did midfield, do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, maybe. From real, Tony? Uh, it's not a lot of, I mean, in the last three years, some people were picking you guys, some weren't. This year, not a lot of people were picking you guys. Like, how much does that add to the sweetness of this moment, especially for you, David? I mean, you know, we, we, we're not listening to what other people are picking or who they think is going to win, you know, or what they thought we were going to do or not do. The, at the end of the day, you just got to win the football game. And when you get in a game like this, you know, it doesn't really matter what anyone else is saying. And, you know, maybe, maybe they were listening to it too much because I know we were prepared, more than ready to go out there and, and you know, you know play, play our best football, stay focused on what we had to do to win the football game. And, man, we did that. And then if you guys could speak to just, just the margins that you had to have, to win this one, winning the turnover battle, the kicks going going the right way. Did you know it was gonna need to be real clean like that? <clears throat> uh, yeah, we knew we had to get the ball off the offense, off of their offense. Um, that's something we tried to do this week, planning on that. And um, the goal for the for the DBs, the DBs by itself was a plus two, so we got that done and um, won the game. So. Standings are right here in the league. Davis, you were shorthanded. No Colson, and Donovan's out in the second half. Can you speak to? I mean, really unbelievable, superhuman from Kalel, especially on that third down, uh, being able to shake a guy off and really just want it more. Uh, that's what it came down to, and, and he wanted it. And, you know, to, to break that one off, and, and the O-line did a great job as well. So, um, and, and Coach Campbell and um, Coach Newsom did a great job putting a run plan in place that, you know, was, was effective. I mean, we rushed for 170-something yards, and, you know, we knew it was going to be a downhill physical game. Um, and we were prepared for that and just so proud of that whole group. Um, O-line, Kalel, Donna when he was in there, Jordan Marshall got some got some play too. And and then uh, you know the tight ends, Brady and, and Marlin and, and those guys, those are those guys are tempo setters for, for this offense. Makari, the first half you had a big pass breakup early, and then you had to get on Will Howard. Did you think did you disrupt his flow, do you think? Um, hard to say really, but um yeah, I mean Taking the hit, I mean, he was down for a minute, so definitely probably wrapping him a little bit. And then plus with the D line, getting to him and like hitting him, knocking him down, definitely probably was a little bit hurried up in the um, pocket. So maybe. Next time, Malik Wojo. For both uh, players, you've beaten them four times in a row, and the word always seems to come back to toughness. Is do you feel there is that is what you guys mold over them when you win these games? I mean. I think.
think, you know, we, we, we talk about it. You know, we, we talk about what type of team we want to be, what type of team we want to be known as. And, you know, Coach Moore talks about it. That smash mentality, and that's discipline and tough. And doing your job, not doing too much, not trying to do any, sorry, anything outside of, of what you know how to do and just um, operate into the best of your ability. And, I, you know, I'm just really proud of this whole group. I think they did that today. They showed toughness. Um, you know, all everyone that was out there showed toughness, and and that's what these games came down to, and showed in the final score. Sorry, especially on defense, you're knocking around <coughs> the quarterback and also stuffing the running game. You feel that was? Uh, I think I think as a defense, as a team, I, honestly, we are tougher than them. <clears throat> I feel like, yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. Job on the back, right? Was there a a, a certain just kind of moment in the game? guys felt to that confidence that you came in playing with, it was overriding maybe OSU's um, ability to play just as far as their talent level was concerned. I mean, I thought on that offensive drive in the first half when we were going into the wind, um, and we drove right down the field and we started our own, you know, within our own 10 yard line and went down there and, um, you know, put ourselves in a good spot. And I think you know, just just with that, that gave us a lot of confidence. Picked up some third downs in that drive, and and really got things moving. And um, I think that was, you know, I can't speak for the defense, but I think that was big for the offense um, to get get some get some stuff rolling. Front middle. Up. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. <laughs> I think um, before the game, we kind of like gave us that, like we knew, like they really didn't want to. Well, they not did it. They probably didn't want to, but they probably like they tried to look tough. They tried to like stare at us, stare us down, but. We knew in our head, like, they really didn't want to come out here and play us. For, for HV, in light, of what, in light of what happened after the game today, um, what, what do you think about the concept of losing gracefully? I mean, you know, I think you, you, we talked about it all week, being disciplined and letting our play on the field do the talking, and, and, you know, through the echo of the whistle. Um, I think. We had that one, you know, on sports one, like offsetting one, which you know those are those are going to happen in, in games like this. But I think as a unit, uh, as a team, we did a great job of that. Um, you know what happened at the end, I, I can't speak for that, but um, you know, we're 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 going to win in your house and we're going to play the flag. Like, should have, you know, you should have done something about it, you know. All right, standing off the right, Aaron McMahon. <laughs> for both of you, could you, could you speak to the idea of the Ohio State defeating Mount Big Ten title game and? Some doubt in the, in the foundation of the program. <clears throat> um, I mean, I can speak for like just beating them right now. Like, beating them was enough for us to, you know, be, be satisfied and happy. Not really to focus on their postseason um, goals and whatever, but just beating them today was our main goal. Right, we got time for two more back left, Zach. Uh, for both of you guys, you've been asked to bounce back as a team and stay together through a lot of losses and, and downs this season. How much did that prepare you for this game where there were a lot of emotional ups and downs and kind of adverse moments? I think it was huge. Um, you know, Coach Moore has a, has a term called FIDO, which is uh, F it and drive on. Um, and, and that's, you know, speaks to this this group. You know, we, we always talk about it. Whatever happens, it's, it's that next moment mentality. Each, each play, each day, each game is an independent event and has no bearing on the last play or the next play. And Coach Trust does a great job of that in the weight room, always throwing us off guard and different things. And um, I think that just, you know, that, that helped us when we, when we got in this game and in a game like this where there's a lot of emotions and up and downs and, and just fight up. All right, last question for these guys in the middle from Noah. Uh, yeah, Davis, just for so much of that second half, uh, the offense couldn't get in the end zone, but the defense consistently gave you chance after chance. What did it mean to have that support and how did they help you, you know, get there finally? Oh, I mean, Kari and, you know, that whole group, you know, they, they won us this football game, no doubt. Um, but the way that they played against that offense, um, they did an incredible job. Um, you know, all credit goes to them and Coach Wink. And, you know, even, you know, the interception at the goal line just can't happen. You know, that's, that's inexcusable um, by, by me, and, and, and they bailed me out. So um, I'm just really proud of those guys. And, um, you know, and, and they, did, they did so much to, to win this football game for us. And, um, you know, I had trust in them. And, and they made it happen, and then we had to go down and, and score points to, you know, to, to win the game. We were able to do it. So, just you know, true team effort. But man, those guys really stepped up uh, in, in key moments, and 
uh, just so proud of that group, and you know, I, I owe them all something for that. Team effort. He did a great job. All right, thanks, everyone. <laughs> you guys out.